everybody and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do an antique haul it's something a little different and a lot of people that even know me probably don't realize that I love antiques I love going antiquing it's something that I really enjoyed doing with my parents growing up and even my grandparents would take me out with them when they would go to antique stores so luckily for me um, this area of Minnesota that I moved to has so many great antique stores and last weekend um, I went to a bunch because they were having a lot of sales so um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I found this weekend and also there's some things that I found before and the months before at the same stores. Um, just some of my favorite things that I thought I would show you today. So okay, we'll, we'll just jump right in and I'll show you some of the stuff I got this weekend. Alright, first is a little, oops, there's something in there. It's a Campbell soup mug and it's not really, I don't think it's that vintage -y, like I don't know what year this is, but it was in really good condition and it's just cute. And I thought I could put it on the shelf, um, on one of my bookshelves, and you know, even put like pencils in it and stuff or whatever. So this was four dollars, and it was a really good price for the quality. It's in really good shape, so that's really cute. It was four. Uh, I think it was cheaper than four because it was um, twenty percent off of that. So, um, and I also got this glass canister. And actually, I know this isn't like exciting, it's not like an exciting antique, but I really need some containers like this. And um, this was $4, so I thought, wow, that's a really good price um, for the size, it's really big. Um, I thought I could put nail polish in here or, you know, I don't know, there's a lot of different things I could put in here. But, um, yeah, it's cute, I like it. Alright, I also got, what else did I get? Oh. This little bird was $4.50, and my mom has um, some of these glass birds that are just like a normal bird, little birdie shape, but I've never seen a swan before, and I just thought it was so pretty and delicate. I'll let you see it up close a little bit more. It's just so cute, and I don't know where I'm going to put it, probably just on my desk or something. Blue isn't necessarily one of my colors that I normally use, but I just couldn't resist this. It's so pretty. I'm so afraid I'm going to like snap the neck off. Okay. I also found this little bracelet. It was $2.90. And it's just, um, it's elastic and it just, you know, just pretty costume jewelry. And um, it was in good shape, you know, all the stones are still intact and it seemed pretty good quality. And it's just, it's, it's pretty. I really like simple silver bracelets, so... I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this. Hopefully, Maria won't break it too fast. Yeah, is there a quack quack? She's watching something on TV over there. All right, I also got this set of jars. Where's the other one? And I think the price isn't on here anymore. I think this set was like 5 or $7. So it's just two little jars. And they have kind of like a little, you know, glass design on them. This one's got a little star. Well, I guess they both have starbursts. It's just this one's bigger. And they're just cute. They just have little screw-on lids. And I thought these would look cute on my shelf, too. I'm getting some new shelves in my room to put books on. And I don't really have tons of books. So I kind of need some extra, you know, knickknacks to put on the shelf. So that's kind of what I was looking for the other day when I went out. But I thought it was a good price. And they were pretty color. I love the kind of light turquoise. So really like that. And I'm excited about those. And again, I could, you know, put stuff inside of these or just leave them plain. So... I kind of like things that do double duty like that, you know? Alright, I also got some linens. I love um, vintage handkerchiefs, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Sometimes I just um, kind of use them like doilies, like on my dressers and stuff. But, okay, here's the first one. And it's um, kind of like a dark pink and light pink. I know the colors aren't the greatest on here. But it's in good shape, and here, I'll open the whole thing up. You can see on the corners it's got little like little flowers. It's really pretty. And then I have this one. And again, the colors are very similar on all of these. They're like the same shades. And then I got this one. And I just I love these two together. They're just so so pretty. I think this one is kind of unique. It's something that you don't always see. I try to pick out ones that, you know, are a little different. This one has like a little mark on it, I didn't notice. And then I just got this one, and it's just kind of plain white, and it's got lace. And I thought this one would be really good for my desk or something. So, see that? 
And these were, you know, I'm not sure how much these were. This one says nine, but I know I didn't pay nine for it. Usually I pay about two or three dollars for handkerchiefs. I, unless it's something really rare, I don't like to pay over four dollars for them. So, got those. And next are two aprons. Now these are really wrinkly because they've been like crammed in the corner. I need to wash them. They've been in a bag that, you know, old linens that I need to wash. And this is just yellow and white stripes. And it's a really cute, like, little flippy shape on the bottom. And it has, I think it's just got one pocket. Yeah, it just has one little pocket trimmed in lace. And it was good quality. It's a fun fabric. Um, yeah, I think it'll be cute once I get it washed and, you know, take the wrinkles out. And then I've got this pink one. It's just a pink and white gingham. And it's got little pleats up here at the top with, um, you can kind of see the stitching a little bit more. Kind of like crisscross stitching. <clears throat> and this one has one pocket again, one pocket on the corner, and then the bottom's got a little design. And again, this one was in good shape, and um, the sewing, the you know, seems like it was really good quality and done well, and I think it'll hold up. I love aprons. I'm not like the most domestic person, but I really do like aprons. I kind of collect them. <laughs> Alright, the next two things are, I bought these a while ago, but I got them at the same stores that I went to the other day, so I thought it was okay. And these are some of my very favorite things that I've ever found um, antiquing. The first one is this little elephant. I think it's supposed to be a planter. I think that's what it was originally for. It doesn't have like a brand. It doesn't have a date on it anywhere. Um, you know, nothing like that, so I don't know how old this is, or, you know, it could be relatively new. But I just thought it was so unique, and it's just so cute. Um, I really like stuff like this. It's just fun and funky, and, you know, I don't know. I really like it. Um, this goes on my vanity, and I put all my makeup brushes in here. Um, but sometimes, also, I've used this on my desk to put pencils in. But it's just, it's so cute. I love it. And I paid a lot for this. Um, I think this is the most I've ever paid for an antique. I think it was $16. But I just, I loved it. And I thought, if this was brand new, would I have paid $16 for it? And I was like, yeah, I probably would. It's just something unique, you know, that I haven't really seen a lot. So I thought I would go for it. And I'm so glad that I bought it because I really love it. And I think it adds, you know, something fun to my room. All right, and this is my, the colors of my bedroom are purple mainly, and then I have a lot of gray and stuff. So I'm always keeping my eye out for anything purple. Um, I think purple is very, like, rare in a lot of vintage and antique products. Um, you will see all different colors, but usually stores will only have a small little section with anything purple. So when I saw this purple little, I don't know what this is called even. I guess it's just a little glass. It's almost a little goblet, I guess you would call it. I was like, oh my god, I have to buy it. <laughs> and again, I think I paid a little bit more for this. I think it was, it was probably under 10 still, but you know, more than I usually pay. But it's just kind of a nice color of purple. It's got a lot of, you know, it's a little bit darker. It's got some depth to it, and it's just got detailing, you know, around here. And this goes on my nightstand, and I put like my um, lip balm and a couple pens and a hair tie, and you know, just it, random stuff next to my bed. And it's just really pretty. And the bottom is kind of like a flower shape. So I love that. These are probably like my two favorite things that I've ever found antiquing. All right, well, that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it would be fun to do something a little different. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. I go antiquing almost every weekend. It's just so much fun. My whole family enjoys doing it, even my dad. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video, and I hope that you'll come back for my next one. And I hope everybody has a really good week. Bye.